just woke up and today is day one brook for virginia i gotta drive down this morning it's like 6 a.m hopefully get there on like one and uh, set up the muck look at that wow <laughs> That's so unbelievable. Really that is so weird. This is gonna look cool. I, I'm excited for this. This is cool. a display next to us. Nice. I'm walking to go eat some Chick fil A. Um, I bought a lot of brickheads, like I think over $200 already worth of brickheads. Um, got some uh, exclusive ones, expensive ones, rare ones, everything like that. Uh, I think I have almost 20 at this point. Um, so I think I have a few more to buy from the convention. For the most part, it should be good. Uh, a few more I need to buy that I don't have yet. And after that, I have all of them at the convention that are for sale. Um, a lot of duplicates, but that's fine. So I'm going to go to Chick fil A. I'm gonna try to buy more like actual like rare sets uh, the next couple days, but um, definitely bought a lot of stuff I want so far, so it's been good so far. So, dropped some stuff off, and uh, yeah, got a lot of cool people today, but uh, it's only gonna get better. Ewok Village for seven hundred dollars. Uh, may I mind you, the UCS sand call was six hundred fifty. So I feel like it's a little overpriced to have a uh, seven hundred dollar Ewok Village, considering Bricklink is like sealed, like three fifty. Um, so a lot of overpriced sets there, a lot of them. Um, so I'm that's when I started buying smaller things because smaller things are more uh, price managed, I guess you could say. Um, but I'm most likely going to buy the fifty dollar battle on Takodama. Um, I did see that as a set. Uh, so $50 is not really bad of a deal. Um, so things like that. Uh, I'm also, I've gotten most of the things I've wanted. So I'm sort of trying to look for things that I could, uh, resell or keep sealed and hopefully one day sell for more money. Um, but I'm still looking around. So, uh, I'll, I'm going to head back now and, uh, I'll see you guys. It'd be hard to believe, but, uh, this entire bag is <laughs> full of breakheads. Nice. I also bought this for, it's a hundred dollars, but I actually got it for 90. So sort of a steal. Uh, a few of the sets I'm considering to get. Still haven't decided. Uh, it's only been the second day and I've spent a lot of money on things that I probably didn't need to spend money on, but so I'm going to probably hold off for today and maybe tomorrow until the last day. Hopefully um, the deals are here. Um, I'll see the sets that people didn't want to buy. I don't know, but uh, for the most part, there aren't too many good sets to buy. A lot of things are overpriced. There was a Star Jar. Star Jar Brickhead. It's actually really cool. Um, I wouldn't have paid as much money for as it did, but it's not bad. Pretty cool, I guess. 30 bucks, but not the best thing ever, but pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna explain it. So it is about 8.30 a.m. I arrived at the public, uh, public place, uh, the uh, convention center uh, for public days one. Um, people should get here in like an hour and a half, but I've seen a few people outside. Uh, the line does get pretty long, so people do tend to get here early. But uh, I have my breakfast, I have my water, I have a lot of sets to build if I need to. Um, we were told, uh, at least, in like the program to stay at our spot most of the time um and obviously you can get around and walk around buy stuff but um for the majority of the day you should be at your spot um it's probably a problem with theft and i have some pretty nice figures in my thing um i guess not pretty nice but my figures very open uh, so if someone want to reach in there snatch a little mandalorian they easily can uh so i have to watch out for that but um public day one should be really cool first ever public for a second ever convention but first ever uh convention of being behind the scenes and not being a public viewer so let you know how it goes. Uh, I have a lot of brickheads. I'm uh, hoping to get this one signed by most of my friends. Um, I'll see some YouTubers like Rich Boy J, people like that. Um, I, saw, I actually saw him here. So I've never seen him before. Um, but hopefully I can get this signed. Um, I don't know why. It's just, I think it's kind of cool. Um, so I want to get signed by friends, people like that. Um, just as a sort of commemorative thing. But uh, yeah, that's the plan for today. And I'll see you guys in First thing, she's going to be on camera. <laughs> 
Uh, it's just zoomed in on the book. Ryan! You just got this for 20. Three little price to crack. Still sealed, but it's cracked. UCS Yoda for 50. Not bad. Today we're going to be setting the Comic Con set. <laughs> Holiday Millennium Falcon, Clone Wars, Valentine's Day. Nice. And that thing, the Comic Con set. Do it full speed backwards. No. Trust me, it'll go fast. But then it's, going, it's literally going to crash. Okay, then you, you go over there. You know, I'll go over there and use it. I guess I'll call it here for the trip for Brickford, Virginia 2021. Um, unless I find something else to film, this will be it. Uh, it's a fantastic trip, arguably better than 2019. Um, had tons of fun, but <sighs> spent, spent a little too much money. Um, but I guess I got the stuff I wanted and I can always earn the money back. So I'll be going on probably a Lego hiatus once I get the armory set. And then the next thing I'll probably purchase Lego-wise is probably the gunship in September, probably mid-September or October. But until then, I'm probably going on a Lego hiatus. Well, that is it for Brick Fair 2021. I, I mean, I still have a few hours left, but um, I have all the public people left, left. And I'm walking. Santa's first signature. Yoda is no longer dead. And the mock is back to normal. Coolest mock here, I think. I love this thing. Got Max Rebo, got a Tauntaun head, Java, some other characters, maybe. Save Leia. The way the back looks like. Drones, cups, drum cups. Yeah. <laughs> 